Oh, Pop's here. It's about six o'clock in the evening. Me to me, Gracie, she's at work. It's been kind of rainy all day. Boy, it got too, too bad. Jilly darling and you know, trying to cook something to eat. But anyway, before it got too bad, me and Jilly darling went and sat by the Greenway today. Went out and took us a little walk at the Greenway. I was telling y'all about that yesterday. Anyway, home, homecoming, homecoming, housekeeping. I'm smoking my Ghibli, my Savinelli Ghibli, 645KS, my brandy. Got it for Christmas. And in it, I'm smoking some of that Brigadier Black Gettysburg. Fine, fine peach flavored blend that uh, good old James Long sent to me. It's mighty lacking. And an aperitif. I'm having me a little bit of uh, raging berry moonshine. Many me brought it home from work last night. I was fixing to toss it out. But we sitting, uh, me and Jilly Darling were sitting at the Greenway today. And I was chewing me a bowl in my pipe. Old Jilly Darling was feeding the birds and the squirrels from a little bag of popcorn that she had from the night before. You never guess who we saw. Old Whitey Shelton. Now let me tell you something about old Whitey Shelton. I've known him. I would say all my life, but not yet, thank God. You know Whitey go way back. Kind of fella that if you'd never met in your life, it'd have been too soon. He's uh, crooked as, as eight miles of creek bank. Slicker than a leaky oil pan. But he come walking up on the greenway, leading a goat on a rope. Seen us. I tried everything I could. He ducked my head. But that goat stopped and started nibbling on some of that popcorn and he recognized Jill. So he stopped and he spoke. We talked a little while. All of a sudden, He reached down and he put his thumb on that goat's butthole. Rubbed it, and he rubbed it right across his lips. Old Jilly darling went, gross! He looks at her and says, well, honey, I got chap lips. She says, is that good for chap lips? And he says, no, but it keeps me from licking them. I tell you what, 
She said, I don't see how in this world Sarah Lou ever married you. And this guy, he's a, he's a card. He's sorry on a $2 watch. He's the kind of guy that uh, tried to sneak sunshine past the rooster. I remember we used to go bowling with him and Sarah Lou. Me and Gilly Darling used to bowl on a tournament with him on Tuesday nights. The Tuesday night splits. We had a league that we bowled in. A Brunswick league. Back before her back gave out, back before my knees got real, real bad, and my hips. Me and old Dilly Darling used to be pretty good bowlers. But we was riding to Lebanon, Tennessee, to Strikes and Spares Bowling Alley one night. Of course, Lebanon's a country town. Yeah, back then it was. We had passed a lot of farming, farmland. And Whitey and Sarah Lou, they argued the entire way. And Whitey was relentless. He stayed on her. Just would not let up. I felt so sorry for that girl. But they, we finally passed this little old farm. Looked over and there was a barnyard full of pigs and jackasses. Everything had been quiet for about five minutes in the truck. They reached a lull in their argument. And I guess old Whitey Shelton couldn't resist himself. He looked over, saw that field full of pigs and jackasses. He glanced over, and he looked over at Sarah Lou, and he said, Relatives of yours, without missing a beat. Sarah Lou said, Yep. My in-laws. I never was so proud of one girl in all my life at that moment. I wish she was my very own daughter. Anyway, it's about supper time. I'm sure old Julie Darling's about got it ready. Y'all have a good night. I'm old Pops. <laughs>